and that's what I need, a lot of help. Well, our next guest needs no help at all. No He's help at all. He's been introduced four times on this show already. <laughs> and but you course, need to read this one, right? Yes, because we really do. Began his career at the age of six. Together with his brothers, he became an international phenomenon, earning over 20 gold records at 17, made television history when he and his sister Marie became the youngest hosts of a weekly variety show. Look at that hair. 1989 <laughs> single, Soldier of Love, soared to number two, proving he was back with a new sound and hotter than ever. Now he's taking over the world of musical theater by storm in a great Andrew Lloyd Webber production called uh, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, now appearing in Toronto. Here he is, Mr. Donny Osmond. Yeah! I don't know why I'm making an entrance. I've already made an entrance. Hi, Hi Donny. Great to have you. Come on in. Sit down. Thank you. Donny was... Um, Supposed to be on our show last month. I guess you had laryngitis. Well, I, I started to uh, lose my voice, and it was just before the opening. The grand opening was you such a big night. You don't want to get on a plane at that point. No, no, no. And Andrew Lloyd Webber himself was in the audience, and all the press, Oof. of course. The wow. place was what packed. What pressure, Don? I wish you could have, have seen it. Yeah. It's probably one of the best nights of my career. Oh, it really? Was just you were hot. You were on. Well, you know, Andrew's out there, and everybody, and it inspires you. Get you get a little nervous, right? Yeah. The curtain went up. The nerves went away. I had the time of my life. Oh, did you it really? Was so and what did Andrew say to you? Sir Andrew now, right? Sir Andrew. What did he say? Well, he gave me a really nice compliment. At the very end of the show, he gets up on stage and uh, takes the final curtain call with the entire company. There's like 81 people in the entire cast. And he turns to me just before the curtain comes down and uh, he said, uh, where have you been keeping that voice all these years? Uh -huh. and, and then afterwards, he said, you really ought to tackle some of the uh, phantom repertoire. You know, it's funny, he, talk, from Andrew he talked Weber. to me about the Phantom Show. Uh, <laughs> As Interna Christine. International. <laughs> <laughs> but she really had to get in shape for this, yeah. huh? Oh, you yeah. had to start yeah. working out. Well, when I, after I auditioned and uh, they told me that they wanted me to be Joseph, I realized that I'm going to have to be almost naked out on stage wearing this loincloth. So, uh, all right, cut it out. <laughs> Want to so, borrow my underwear? <laughs> I, I would like to see you wear this sometime during the show. That's a lot more than you wear in the show, right? This you is, wear a loincloth, right? This is a lot more than what I wear in the yeah. show, yeah. Well, some guys need a it lot It almost more. fell off the other day. <laughs> You're kidding. It almost came off What's the other What's it kept day. together by? Just like four little snaps. And it almost came off. <laughs> two, of the, two of the four snaps came off. And I was buttoning them real fast. <laughs> You worked out. You got a standing ovation for that one. <laughs> You've been working out with uh, Mr. Toronto up there, huh? Yeah, Ed Gautier. Yeah. Mr. T Mr. Ontario. Mr. Ontario. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, were you nervous about appearing in a loincloth? At first, I felt naked out there. I bet. At, yeah. And now, you know, it's it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. It really is. No big deal. As a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> no. You proud of you? Have you been a workout person all your no. life? You just sort no, of took it. But you've I've been never... slender. You yeah, I've never been overweight, yeah. obese, uh, but uh, I've never lifted the weights or anything so like that. He's a maniac about it. He well, loves that's it. what I understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll challenge you. Challenge, I'll cha challenge me to what? You name it, I'll challenge you. I've Let's been... see those chests. Huh? Are you kidding me? Push-ups. Push-ups? Oh, push-ups. During Big the break, deal. I'll challenge you to some No, we'll do it right here. Let's go. Hit the deck. I don't, I don't do push-ups in my training routine. Oh, now he's getting out of it. Oh. Go ahead, you go first. <laughs> trained by Mr. Ontario. <laughs> You're trained by Radu? Yeah, that's right. Mr. Bulgaria Mr. Roma Romania, Romania, thank you. <laughs> Come on, with or without your loincloth, hit the deck, do as many as you can. <laughs> Let's go, big boy, you wanted to. Uh, it's his only day, oh. It's his only day. Oh. I don't care, the man, it should be a challenge. Well, uh, suffice it, suffice it to say, I would take up the entire segment and the next segment and the next segment doing push-ups. See, we just don't have the time for that, Reed. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, you think about it, okay? I'll think about well, it. I'd rather he sing for us anyway. Well, let's take a look at his new music video, first of all. Now, what about this video? Which one are you going to show? Is it my well, love is a fire. My yeah, love is, a, one is of the last a fire. I tell you, we almost burnt the studio down. <laughs> no, seriously, we, we almost burnt it down effects. with the special effects. The uh, sprinklers kicked in. The fire department shows up and shut us down. No kidding. Yeah, so we had having to clean up the entire studio. And, and the dangerous part about it was that we had this big arc lamp 
that I don't know how many volts going through this thing and water pouring down and we're performing around this thing. Uh huh. So it was quite dangerous. Well, should we take a look right now and see? The things Please. we do for our careers. Yes, yeah. I know. It's probably a little little fire this big, but after you get listening to him, you know, let's take a look now at Donny Osmond and his new video. Oh, baby. That's those guys listening again up there in the booth. The man talked for 20 minutes about fire. And, and this is my latest album. <laughs> and as soon as they saw a little fire up there, get rid of it. Go. Okay. Now You're not going to show yes, this. Yes, we are. We're going to see. spent the last 10 years I trying to get away from this. sorry. No, we're going to show what happened to this young boy, okay? Actually, I don't mind this at you, all. You he sure doesn't mind at all. He's positive, got his, uh, his Miami Vice uh, beard on. He's all set. <laughs> Here we go. Take a look at this. I had a big crush on Bonnie. Definitely. Did you really? Yeah. You had a crush on Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Weren't you a little old to have a crush on Donnie? <laughs> I was 12 years old. And you were about 23. <laughs> <laughs> this week, I'm going to kill him. This when we come back, Donnie Osmond will sing live well, right here while he's doing his whistles. Yeah. 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 Superstar and yeah, cats and talking about uh, Joseph and the amazing uh, Technicolor Dreamcoat. This was the very first show that Andrew Lloyd Webber wrote uh, back in the '60s. '68. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember seeing it at the. It was originally a 20-minute uh, play that he wrote for a high school or something like that, and then over the years he expanded it to uh, the current production. And this is different. This is a different production from the uh, the one that was here in New York uh, back in '83, I believe. Mm -hmm. Well, he just called. He's watching, and he says he has a new outfit for you to wear when you go back to Toronto, and here is your new wardrobe. <laughs> well, I'd like to see Regis just model it, okay? Here you go. Have fun. Thank just you. because you're so bodacious doesn't mean that everybody else is. Well? I want to hear him sing. Yeah, the, first of all, there's a 50-member children's choir in the show, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the kids had a funny quote, a funny question that he asked you. Do you remember that question? I said, aren't you the one that used to sing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, uh, this little kid, <laughs> probably about nine or ten years old, right? And uh, he kept looking at me uh, during rehearsals. And I walk over there and said, uh, there's something wrong? Is it, do you have a question or something? He says, yeah. Aren't you that guy that used to sing with that girl with big teeth? <laughs> And Marie, if you watch it, I'm sorry, but that is a direct quote. <laughs> Big and white teeth. All right, you got to sing a song from the show? Teeth. This is the theme song from the show. This isn't exactly the way I sing it on the show, because in, in musical theater, you really have to be exact. You have to, your diction has to be right, but this is a little bit more R&B. All right. A little funky. I closed my eyes And drew back the What I thought I knew and Far away Someone was weeping But the world was sleeping Any dream A crash of drums, a flash of light, my golden coat flew out of sight, the colors faded into darkness, I was left alone, no, I forgot it went. I was left alone. I really want to soup this up. On stage, he gets here. Leave him alone. May I? <laughs> shut up, will you? May I return? Here comes the high note that's really difficult. I'll help you. To the beginning. Oh, I can go higher than that. To the beginning. Yes. The light is dimming. 
And the dream is to The world and I We are still waiting Still hesitating Any dream Will do All right, Toronto right now on their way to uh, Minneapolis. Brooklyn's at the State Theater on September 15th out there. Thank you so much, Danny. Good to see you again, Tom. We'll be back with Monica Sellers in the Monaco Tennis Tournament in a month.